welcome back to this channel or welcome to this channel my name is Jackie and I'm obsessed with planners and journals today I'm going to talk a little bit about one book July about what I'm going to use for this month and how I'm approaching this challenge and especially if you watched my previous video which was my updated July lineup you are probably asking oh but you mentioned a lot of journals and planners in that video so how are you saying you are going to participate in one book July and I'm going to tell you all about this in this video and you can probably tell I'm filming right after the other one because I'm still finishing my coffee from that video so if you want to see how I'm going to use and also the setup of this book that it's going to be the one book for July just keep watching okay so I won't be talking a lot about one book July because it's my first time actually participating in it um, I think I tried a couple of years ago but I never like went full-hearted um, in the challenges and this year is like pick and mix so you can choose one of the previous challenges so uh, the actual challenge that I'm going to um, be uh, participating is like one project and the project I want to finish throughout July is organizing my office and I'm not going to show you that at least not at this moment because my office is a complete mess and I re I've been postponing it um, like organizing like truly organizing my office and my stationery and planner supplies for almost two years now and that's ridiculous so that's going to be like the project I want to finish but I also wanted to use one book at least for one thing in my life because I already told you in the previous video that I cannot do like one journal, <laughs> one journal July because I like journaling in different sizes. I like journaling my A6 when I feel like, I like journaling in a cousin when I feel like, uh, and even in a traveler, traveler's notebook if I want. So that makes me happy. So I do not want to limit myself in that creative area but I've been struggling to find kind of a planner piece with planners and especially because since lockdown and the whole coronavirus situation I'm not having a lot of appointments everything changes of course for everybody and um, I'm very privileged, I'm always saying that, I'm very privileged to be able to work from home and I just need to find a system that is going to work um, for this new um, work and a personal reality. Uh, so I've not, I've been using, using my Hobonichi cousin for work. It is just a full year cousin and you seeing this a lot in this Giglio Aponto A5 cover in the rust color um, and I love this and this is just the perfect work planner for me but since we are not having a lot of appointments and even deadlines I just have the one deadline which is like write one of the chapters of my thesis and I'm not going to forget that at all I decided Maybe I could downsize, as usually people do throughout One Book July. And I've been missing using a passport size traveler's notebook more because um, I use it to use one every single day. And I just love this. It's the perfect like everyday carry. But even if I'm not leaving my house very much, I think it's the perfect planner um, for One Book July because you can cheat and you can have three books in this little guy. <laughs> Anyhow, I decided that this would be my only planner for July. And if I feel the need, I will, of course, go back to my Hobonichi cousin, uh, because, of course, this challenge is to help you um, to kind of realize what's important for your planning system and not to bring you more anxiety if it's not that you cannot use any other planners throughout the month. At least that, that's what I get from it. Um, but I will be using just this specific planner for my all of my planning needs. And by that, I mean 
my personal planner, my work planner, and my social media planner that I just realized I really need one so I can keep posting regularly on all my social media. Okay, so I have these in this beautiful Starbucks uh, reserve grocery traveler's notebook. This is the passport size and you already know that. So let's open it up. I have already uh, set up these. So I just have this little uh, pouch uh, from High Meadows and I bought this from Nomado store a while back, maybe one or two years ago. And I usually have it here when I'm out and about because it has like some uh, safe pockets that I can even uh, storage some money. Uh, so this can kind of work as a wallet if I need it, even though I haven't used it as like a wallet with cards and everything, just some money and receipts. Um, and I decided to add here just because I like it, basically. Um, it won't be that functional because I'm not out and about, um, but I like the way it looks. So yeah, I decided to add it there. Then I have a monthly uh, insert right here that I've been kind of using since the beginning of the year. Uh, I was, um, my intention with these was to be like my own the go planner. So I needed a monthly a calendar just to keep up my appointments so if I was out and about oh I'm saying that a lot <laughs> it's not a drinking game don't okay drink your coffee when I say out and about so when I was out and about <laughs> and someone like asked to like meet up and I could just check this monthly calendar but of course that only worked for January and February and then I was just not really using these I think for May I just wrote like still at home with some stamps and June I never opened these again and I decide the reason I decided to put these back is because since I won't be using my Hobonichi cousin as my work planner if a new deadline deadline appears I can easily write it down right here so it's going to be useful so I have the monthly uh, insert right here and I love that there are a couple of note pages at the back if I need more space since um, this is so tiny but I don't think I will because um, coronavirus moving on I have the weekly um insert and i haven't i think i used like one or two weeks from the previous one which was from january to june um but i had like the new book that started on july and that's always a fresh start for me and i decided to give it a go because maybe using this as my only planner um this will be very important. So basically this insert will be for um, personal, personal planning, yes. Uh, so I will just mark down things that I want to do for the project of organizing my office um, and maybe social media um, activities will be listed down here if they are um, on a specific, if they need to be posted on specific days and um yeah it will be all in one but i won't be marking down work related things in the weekly view uh, because the, that won't i know that won't work it will be just way too much so it will be just personal and social media basically and then here at the back i just have a muji passport insert because they are cheap and i have some in here and this is just like um these little squares how how is this called oh my god a blank graph paper <laughs> so i just have this insert in graph paper and what i'm going to be doing this is just how i'm going to be using this is just making lists so for example uh, it will be kind of a daily so i will mark down the date right here and then will be just all the tasks that i need to do that day and maybe i will just color code so i will know what's for work what's personal and what's uh, social media related and i can also mark down video ideas and uh, article ideas when whatever i feel like writing down for um each of those things that I don't have space in the other inserts. So it'd be kind of a catch-all, catch-all. 
put it all write it all book <laughs> something like that and yeah and here is just the second part of that beautiful uh, nomado storm uh, folder pocket thing and yeah that's it i know i, I don't think that's cheating uh, because um one book july is flexible <laughs> and but yeah i have three inserts in the one traveler's notebook it's just one traveler's notebook so i think i'm okay it's one book for planning and I really think this is going to work for me um, because I do not, as I already told you a million times, I do not have a lot of uh, planning needs now that I'm not out and about. But I also want to keep track of um, small things that are happening and I don't think I would be able to finish like my organizing the office project without writing it down someplace the tasks and breaking into uh, very small little tasks that I will be able to complete and be satisfied about it. So yeah, I don't have much in here right now, but I'm excited to start using this. And we are in the first week of June and I haven't prepared the week yet, um, but I'm going to do this very soon. But yeah, I'm excited about it. And that's it for my One Book July and for my setup of my Traveler's Company Traveler's Notebook in the passport size. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry if I, I was all over the place. I'm just getting back to filming, so it's still a little bit strange for me. But I hope you got some ideas. Let me know if you are participating in One Book July and what challenge uh, are you going to be uh, choosing and I will see you soon. Bye bye!